Now I'm going to show you how to link a button to a page. So for example, our topic pages have some pre-stored messages that may be helpful to link out to certain buttons, certain pages to ask for specific things, such as let's get something, let's to, get eat. something to eat. Maybe they want to ask for a specific food. So that would be a good idea to link out to their personal foods. So I'm going to go to hit the personal foods and see what the page is called. So all the way up at the top, in that top black bar, it says related list, my foods. That's something I want to remember. So now I'm going to go back to topics and eating. I'm going to click my little edit button. I'm going to click on the button I want to link out to a page. So get something to eat. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to tap add action. And it's already under my favorites and I want to click link. If it is not under your favorites, you can just go to, you may have to scroll down to find it. So under navigation link, and you can click that little star and that will add it to your favorites. So since this page already exists on our device, we're going to link to existing page. And it was called related list my foods. So I'm just going to search my foods. <coughs> And there it is. <coughs> I'm going to hit done and create. Now, this is a button, for example, that I would recommend having it visit the page. So when they say, let's get something to eat, if we have it visit, it's automatically going to snap back to our topics page. So eating. If we don't have it visit, they are stuck on the My Foods page unless they navigate back themselves. So for individuals that may have trouble with navigation, this may be helpful just to increase their rate of communication with using that topic page. And then you just hit done.